the dollar store popper. Start by mashing the barb of your hook here at Mustad 3366 in size one knot with flat jawed pliers. Then go to some foam counting blocks that you can get at any dollar store. Grab any color, here, orange. Then with scissors, cut down at a 45 degree angle from one edge down, leaving a little rectangular area at the butt. Then go ahead and round off each edge. This will create a more natural profile in the water. Then once those are done, go ahead and grab a double-edged razor blade. Then, with the incline facing up, go ahead and cut a section in the middle of the head about half the width in. Try not to push too hard as you may go all the way through the foam. Make sure to get a nice even indent all throughout the head of the foam. Set your hook in your vise. Place a couple drops of super glue right behind the eye and down to about the halfway point. Then with the indent open and the incline facing the eye, go ahead and set the foam block over the hook and squeeze it close. This will help set the glue. Then wipe the excess glue off. Compress it a couple more times to make sure all the glue is set. Then load a bobbin of 6 out uni here in green. Start your thread right behind the foam head. Wrap back before cutting the tag and the thread off. Try not to wrap down the bend. Then. Go to some marabou. Pick out a nice fluffy fiber that will leave a nice profile in the water. Strip out all the white crappy fibers from the end of the stem. Then go to your fly and measure a tail about two times the hook shank in length. Once you get this measurement, go ahead and cut the rest of the stem off. Push it right up against the foam and tie it down with thread. Again, try not to wrap all the way down the bend. Then go to some saddle hackle here in chartreuse. Try to pick a feather with nice long fibers. Chip off all the fuzzies leaving the only, only the clean fibers. Then separate the tip of the hackle and tie it down right behind the foam head shiny side up. Bring your thread right behind the foam head and start taking touching wraps of the hackle up towards the foam head. Try not to trap any of the fibers as you wrap up. When you start reaching the foam, just keep wrapping. This will help sweep the fibers back. Then when you run out of fibers and get reach bare stem, go ahead and tie the stem off with your thread and cut the stem off clean. It's usually about eight or 10 wraps of hackle. Then go ahead and do a four or five turn whip finish to save your process so far. Then go to some micro legs, micro legs here in olive. From the bunch, go ahead and grab a four legs still attached to the end. Then go to your fly and separate these four legs in half, leaving two clumps of two legs. Then fold one clump of two legs over the thread and tie it on the far side. This should create four legs on the far side. And then do the same to the near side. So you should have four pieces of micro legs on either side of the hook. Bring your thread in front of those two clumps and then whip finish your thread off. A larger whip finish may be beneficial. Then go ahead and cut your thread off. Pull your legs back and cut them to the length 
Uh, just under the marabou tail. Then go ahead and grab two medium doll eyes. Place a dot of super glue in the middle of the fly towards the front of the head. Then go ahead and push a doll eye on here to set the glue. Push it into the foam. Then do the same to the near side. Although not necessary, I like to color the top of the head. I'll usually make five dots, four in each corner and one in the middle, with a lighter colored marker. And then I'll go ahead with a darker colored marker, or and a contrasting color, I'll place a dot in the middle of those five dots. And that's it, that's the fly.